hey, do you want to make the same song over and over and over and over again? Make like three, four albums and then make the same song over and over and over again and then release it and somehow sell a lot. It's pretty much what, what Rod, Rod Wave does. Um, Rod Wave, what's the album called? I can't even remember. It was so forgettable. Uh, I don't remember. It'll be in, in, in the title of the, of the video. Every song sounds the same on here. This is going to be a quick review. Um, I listened to the album. I probably finished it almost a month ago now. I listened to it like a couple days after it came out. So I'm a little late on this review. But um, like I said, every song sounds the same. Every single song. There's what, 19 songs on here? Um, every one sounds the same. I listened to many of them multiple times as well. Every one sounds the same. Soulfly, that's the name. Soulfly, couldn't remember it. 19 songs. One feature as well. One feature. This dude never gets features. If you're not going to get features, why are you going to make a 19 track album? You're not interested enough. And he, he releases music too much to release a 19 track album with one feature. Someone like NF, who dropped the same day as him, released a 19 track album with one feature back in 2019. But he's dropped, let's see, in in six, five or six years, he's dropped five albums. Rod Wave has dropped, let's see, so I have five albums in six years. And let's see, Rod Wave, one, two, three, four, five, six albums in four years. Not even full four years, three, four years, we'll say. Three and a half. And then the one from last year, he only waited, let's see, 11 months from Pray For Love last year, which I didn't mind. I, did, I didn't mind that one. 25 songs on that album. 25. 25. Had some more features. Well, actually only two. Yo Gotti and Lil Baby. Out of the, the, the 25. So the, the features for Unage are pretty, this, pretty much the same, proportionate. But 25 tracks last April. Which actually the, the Deluxe dropped in August. And then he dropped the, the original 13 in April. I did not mind Pray For Love. Um, there were some pretty good songs in there. But by now, he's been doing the same sound. No features. 19 more songs. It just got old at this point. It was kind of a dreadful listen. I really, I, I really don't mind his sound. I really think he has potential. And he's selling well. He's doing good. Um, he's had some hits as well. Tombstone has gotten pretty big. Same as Street Runner. Richard with Polo G charted pretty high as well. I know he had many songs off your chart. 19 songs, 57 minutes. They all sound the same. My favorite on here would definitely be Gone Till November. That one was decent, but not, not even good enough for me to come back to. I don't have much to say besides he made the same song over and over and over and over again. I guess his fans love this and they eat it up because he sold a lot. I think he sold like a 120 130k or something like that but um yeah not not great for me on his album last year pray for love um rags to riches wasn't a bad song i didn't mind that one it was kind of overhyped but rags to riches was all right hard on ice i do like hard on ice it wasn't on pray for love but hard on ice was a decent song i remember no weakness uh roman the greatest is pretty good girl of my dreams is good as well um, Dark Clouds is good. Um, that's about it on the album that I liked last year, but a lot more than this year with, um, Soulfly. This dude better wait two or three years to drop another album. He re he released his project that, that he initially blew up, blew up off of November 2nd, I'm pretty sure, 2019. Let's see, let's take a look at this. So he released it, it was Ghetto Gospel, November 2019. Then he came back four or five months later, when Heart and Ice was still charting and doing well. F four or five months later, we pray for love. Then he dropped the Deluxe in, in August, which brought it to 25 tracks. With 10 music videos. And then, this album, 19 tracks. Only 11 months later. he I think he really solidified himself and, be, and became a star with Pray For Love. Releasing a lot of these songs. Beefing up his catalog, I'd say. 
and then rags to riches, especially the one with the little baby. It got huge. It got pretty big. It charted pretty high on Billboard. It did very, very, very well. It blew up. So he 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 had a hit with that song. Could have waited longer to drop to drop this next one. And if you're not gonna have features, if you're only gonna have one feature, which it wasn't even that good, I was surprised Polo G didn't even do that great. 11, 12, 13 songs would have been good. Could have cut it off there. Would have, would have been better. But I still I still didn't like it. Same song over and over again to me. Every every song sounds the same. Boring. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.